Hello and welcome back to Joe's Math Tools. In our session today, we are looking at the divisibility rule for three. And if you're ready, let's get started. The divisibility rule for 3 tells us that if the sum of our digits equal to a multiple of 3, then that number is divisible by 3. So I'm going to go through that again. So if the sum of your digits, remember the digits are the numbers from 0 to 9 that makes up your numbers. So if the sum of these digits equal to a multiple of 3, then that number is divisible by 3. Now here's another thing that you need to remember when looking at these two or looking at this rule. You must be able to tell the difference between your factors and the multiples of 3. Remember that when you are listing the factors of 3, remember that our factors are the numbers that can divide or the numbers that we can multiply to get 3. And in looking at the factors of 3, remember the first factor of every number is 1 and the last factor of every number is always that number. And since 3 is a prime number, it only has two factors which is 1 and 3. Now in listing our multiples, remember that the multiples are the numbers in that digits time table. So when I'm listing the multiples of 3, the first multiple which is 3 times 1 is going to be 3. And then we flow along with the 3 time table which is then 6, then 9, then 12, 15, and so on. So these are the multiples of 3. So when using this rule, you must be able to tell the difference between 3's factors and 3's multiples to know whether the number after you sum it is able to be divisible by 3. So let's look at an example. So using the number 371, we're going to see if this number is divisible by 3. So remember our rule says that if the sum of our digits, and our digits in this number is 3, 7, and 1. So if the sum of these digits is a number that is a multiple of 3, then I can divide 3 into this number without a remainder. So let's look at the sum of our digits. So we have 3 plus 7 plus 1. And 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. And 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. And we know that by looking at our 3 time table, 11 is not in our 3 time table. Which means that when I divide 3 into this number, I should get a remainder. So let's try our division to see if our rule is indeed correct. So we're dividing 3 into 371. So 3 goes into itself once. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. We're going to bring down our 7. 3 goes into 7 2 times. 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 is equal to 1. We're going to bring down our 1. Dividing 3 into 11, which goes 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. And when 11 minus 9, we get a difference of 2. So we can see that in looking at our rule, the rule says that if the sum of our digits is a multiple of 3, and in summing these digits, we see that they sum to 11, and 11 is not a multiple of 3, and then when we divided 3 into this number, we got a remainder. So remember that whenever it is divisible, we should not have any remainder from that digit. So let's look at another example. We're looking at the number 798. So the first step is let's sum our digits. So 7 plus 9 plus 8. And we know that 7 plus 9 is 16, and 16 plus 8 is equal to 24. And we know that 24 is a multiple of 3 because 3 times 8 is equal to 24. So now let's divide 3 into this number and see if we're going to get a remainder. So 3 divided into 798, 3 goes into 7 twice, 2 times 3 is 6. 7 minus 6 leaves us with 1. We're going to bring down our 9, changing 1 into 19. 3 goes into 19 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. 
19 minus 18 is 1. We're going to bring down our 8, changing 1 into 18. 3 goes into 18 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. And 18 minus 18 is 0. Okay, so we see that 3 divided into 798, 266 times. And in looking at our rule, we got our sum of our digits to equal to 24, which is a multiple of 3. And then dividing our number, we see further that this number is divisible by 3. So that tells us that when it comes to our digits and summing them, that this rule for 3 is indeed correct. Okay, so let's review before we close out. So remember that your divisibility rules for 3 states that if the sum of your digits is equal to a multiple of 3, then that number is divisible by 3. And remember that you must be able to tell the difference between your factors, which are numbers that can multiply to get 3, and your multiples, which are numbers in your 3 times table, to be able to apply this rule. But make sure that you get some practice in. Find some random numbers that you can write down, test this rule, and see if it works. And until next time, this is Jules Math Tools, where math is made easy.